my right. As many of you guys know, for the last year, um, during the school year, I've been going to Arkansas Tech, and I kind of wanted to give you uh, some of the stuff that's been going on and all. Um, so there's something that you might, might or might not have heard of. It's going on there. It's called Campus Ministry. It's a really big deal. And um, at there it's called the Church of Christ Student Center, or the CCSC. And it's a ministry program for on a college campus for college students. It's ran and funded by the West Side Church of Christ in Russellville and surrounding churches. You might not realize that this mission field for the Church of Christ is rather small. There's actually only 138 campus ministries nationwide, and that includes schools like Harding and Lipscomb and uh, all the big Church of Christ schools. Uh, most of these schools are found within the Bible Belt. And in fact, I had not heard about campus ministry until a couple of years ago whenever I was looking to go to Tech. Um, this mission field is growing rather fast, though. Uh, just in the last two years with the apprentice training program offered at the CCSC, two new campus ministries have been planted in uh, University of Arkansas Fort Smith and the University of Central Arkansas. I'm convinced that this mission field is paramount to the success of spreading the gospel and growing the church for future, future generations. The reasons why I say that are is research shows that what you do in college sets the trajectory for the rest of your life. Um, it sets trends. What's happening on a college campus today is what will be happening in the world 20 years from now. And with campus ministry, the world comes to you. There's endless opportunities. I have, I have no idea where there's another place where people from all over the country and all over the world gather in a small, condensed area. And so it's really like the world's just coming to you instead of you going out. <clears throat> just at the CCSC, I've heard and seen of success stories. And I want to share one of those with you tonight. Um, we have a huddle group at the student center, and uh, my leader has actually only been a Christian for two years. And he's had tremendous growth. Um, but two years ago, Matthew was an atheist, wanted nothing to do with God. And he just happened to be in a creative writing class with one of the interns at the CCSC named John. John took an interest in Matthew and invited him to come to the CCSC for a free catfish fry. Because he's a college student and we're not going to turn down free food. <coughs> um, so he came and ate. He left. He didn't really think anything of it. But John just kept pushing at him and asking him how he was doing, constantly talking to him. They became good friends. And he asked him, he's like, hey, man, you want to come to a midweek service? And he's like, sure, yeah. So he comes to midweek, which is like uh, our version of Wednesday night service. And uh, the message that was taught that night touched Matthew's heart, and he was baptized shortly after that. He's continued to grow, and just this past year was an intern at the CCSC. And this summer, he's had an internship at the Robinson Church of Christ in Springdale. He is now pursuing ministry and dreams of being a campus minister one day. This story proves that when you genuinely invest in someone's life and show them that you and God love them, it can change their perspective in life like it did for Matthew. And scripture I'm going to read from is uh, Matthew chapter 5, so if you'll turn there. Be in verses 14 through 16. It says, You are a light of the you are the light of the world. A city set on the, a hill cannot be hidden. Nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. If it wasn't for the CCSC in Russville, Matthew probably wouldn't be the guy he is today, and he likely wouldn't be a Christian. I'm sure there are many other stories similar to his. If we let our light shine, others will see what we are doing and glorify God. When we let our light shine and genuinely care about others and their spiritual well-being, we make disciples. Yeah. If you have any needs tonight or if you'd like to be baptized, would you please come while we stand and sing?